DePaul University, located in Greencastle, Indiana, is the present home of the Monon Bell. The Monon Railroad used to operate between the campuses of DePaul and Wabash College, located in Crawfordsville. At the turn of the century, a rivalry started between the two colleges. During the 1930s, the Monon Line provided a 350-pound locomotive bell to the winner of the annual football game. This rivalry has lasted through the years to become the oldest college football rivalry west of the Alleghenies. Although the football game is the center of the rivalry, campus activities that surround the weekend of the game help to carry on the tradition and fierceness of competition between the two schools. DePaul Public Relations Director Pat Aikman. There's uh, an incredible list of activities. It seems as though it grows each year. Sunday night, for example, uh, there was an all-university dinner. The DePaul cheerleaders were out there, and the objective was to uh, get everyone turned on about the Monon Bell football game. Uh, traditionally, there's always a debate between the DePaul and Wabash students on the uh, campus of the team that will be playing at home. There's a joint concert uh, uh, involving DePaul and Wabash singers. There's a, a stag dinner in Indianapolis for uh, male alumni of the two schools. There's a dinner in Chicago. Uh, there's an intramural uh, all-star football game. Uh, we even had a football game among alumni in Chicago, so it's impossible not to be informed and sensitized the fact that uh, we're going to be having a Monon Bell football game on the weekend. Besides the campus activities, there also exists a strong tradition to make unscheduled attempts to obtain the bell. In 1965, a group of Wabash students disguised as Mexican diplomats persuaded DePaul officials to show them the famed Monon Bell. Dr. Robert Farber was vice president of DePaul at the time. And at first we hesitated because the bell had been hidden. It had been uh, placed in the ground out near the stadium. And the men were invited out to the stadium and the bell was unearthed for them to see it and to take a picture of it. They thanked us profusely and left and said we would uh, hear from them about our cultural relations with Mexico. As I said, they were turned out to be Wabash students and went home with this very valuable information as to the location of the bell. And that night, in the middle of the night, uh, several Wabash students came down quietly and uh, under the cover of darkness, stole the bell and took it home. And in the next morning, we found that the bell was gone. A dastardly trick. Five years ago, DePaul students tried to steal the bell from Wabash. And, uh, some DePaul students went to Wabash and stole the bell. Uh, had an accident in the process. Uh, the bell was uh, displayed on a little balcony up about uh, 30 feet off of the floor. They were trying to lower the bell to the floor, I understand, and the rope broke or the chain broke and the, the bell did fall and was damaged. Uh, they did, uh, however, uh, get it uh, under cover of darkness, and I understand one student carried it around in the trunk of his car for about two months, and uh, officials of both schools who tried to track that bell uh, were mystified as to where it was. Finally, it was returned in a special ceremony on the uh, Monument Circle in Indianapolis, and there was a great deal of hoopla and media interest in that. The campus activities and attempts to steal the bell helped to carry on the competitiveness from year to year, but the main reason for the rivalry is still the football game. DePaul head coach Nick Morosis. My opinion is if we're going to win it, uh, we actually any time we go on the field, we expect to win, uh, win any game, and of course this one in particular. Hopefully we have a big crowd there, and they will help us, uh, give us moral support. The smaller schools are involved, and they know one another, and it's just more intense, and the, and the players really look forward to it. Very hard-fought ball game, very clean, but I tell you, it's, there's some great hitting that, that takes place on the Moon on Bell Day. As long as there's two football teams, Students from DePaul and Wabash and the Monon Bell, there will be fierce competition and exciting football games for years to come.